Welcome to the USO Penitentiary. Hey, Corey, have you been down since day one-ish? Saxon, I've been down a lot longer than you have. One of the great tag teams of all time. Jimmy and Jay have been on a run recently that has redefined the tag team division in WWE. No flips, Byron. Just this. Tag team specialists. There may not be a better team in all of WWE right now than Dawson and Wilder. Great tag teams are on the same page. These two are in the same syllable. Like you and I, Corey. What about me? What about you? Champs absorbing some offense here. He has an amazing opportunity here to cement his legacy as one of the greatest champions in recent memory. I think a lot of people right now are scratching their heads wondering how he let this match. And he tags his partner in. Momentum has certainly shifted here, Michael. Oh, watch out. When you talk about great tag teams, we can go all the way back to teams like the Tolos brothers, Stevens and Patterson, Stevens and Bockwinkle, the Texas Outlaws, the Briscoes, 
the Blackjacks, the Andersons, and the list goes on and on. When you're part of the tag team, the two partners have to travel together, train together, eat together, and be completely in sync with one another. Lights out, DDT connects. Tag team competition dates back all the way to the early 1900s. Corey, you mentioned some of the classic duos from sports entertainment's incredible history. In today's WWE, the tag team scene has never been more competitive. I don't know who has the edge when it comes to talent, if it's Raw or SmackDown Live. I think it's too close to call, but all the teams truly think and act as one unit. I agree, Michael. Teams such as the Usos, American Alpha, Anderson and Gallows, the New Day, the Hardy Boys, Cesaro and Sheamus, I could be here all day naming championship caliber teams. But when the tag team scene is that competitive, you don't know which team will be wearing the gold. Of course, you want to keep Jimmy Uso out of the air, but you don't want to turn this match into a fight. The Usos grew up fighting, so Jimmy is more than comfortable throwing hands if that's what's called. Ronnie dodges out of the way. With the tag is Jey Uso. Corey, earlier you talked about how an opponent should approach a matchup with Jimmy Uso. A superstar definitely wants to keep Jimmy grounded, but they also want to keep their distance because Jimmy can brawl with the best of them. For a superstar to have any chance at defeating Jimmy Uso, that superstar must make sure Jimmy doesn't get airborne. That superstar also has to make sure they don't try to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the second-generation superstar. Set it up! For many years, the Usos have been considered the elite tag team in sports entertainment. On March 21st, 2017, Jay and his brother Jimmy added another trophy to their collection, the SmackDown Tag Team Championship. They're not only expanding the Anawaii family dynasty, they're building their own. The Usos have won different tag team championships during their tenure in WWE. But when they added the SmackDown Live tag team titles to the resume, they became just the fourth duo to hold the prizes that symbolized being SmackDown's top team. The Russos came to WWE to dominate sports entertainment together. Just days before WrestleMania 33, Jay and his brother Jimmy raised their game to take down American Alpha and begin their first reign as SmackDown Live tag team champions. And there's his speed paying off. When a superstar is in a tag team match and has endured heavy amounts of punishment, they must find a way back to their corner to tag their partner. Something that they have to try is doing create separation between them and their opponent. That space gives a superstar the ability to move and catch their breath. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Corey, you touched on this before. Part of a tag team's ability to be successful is their ability to endure punishment and make their way to their partner when they need to tag out. One way to do that is to create that separation you spoke of so they have some space to gather themselves and time to make their way back to the corner. You're absolutely right, Michael. What's the use of having a tag team partner if you're not able to get to them when you got to tag out of the match? Getting that separation is key in breaking any momentum your opponents could have may be the difference between a win and a loss. Maybe even more. A quick reversal by Scott Dawson. Tag team history was made when the first ever SmackDown Tag Team Champions were crowned at Backlash 2016. The unlikely duo of Rhino and Heath Slater caught lightning in a bottle and ran through the Tag Team Title Tournament. In the finals, Rhino and Slater took on the Usos to see which team would be the inaugural Tag Team Champions. Bringing it back into the ring. There was a lot on the line in the tag team tournament finals. The Usos wanted to add another tag team. There it is. The tag has been made. Oh, he needed that in the worst way, Michael. DDT landed. When Jimmy starts rolling like this, look out below. Oh, my goodness. This curse. Oh. Got every ounce of that one. This could be over. There it is. Now the question is, can Jimmy Uso finish?
How can Scott Dawson be put on the offensive quickly here? This tag team match is dangerously close. Oh, he breaks free. But the damage might have already been done, Michael. It's just not. That is a huge... Look at this. Ouch. Oh, Jay Uso is in a tough situation. They did it! These guys were awesome. Let's take another look. These guys showed flashes in this match, but flashes don't exactly set the world on fire, as these highlights show very well. Team action tonight. That's a statement win, Michael. That's a win that says, hey, everybody, look at me. I couldn't agree more. What an amazing contest that was.